Steve uh, Greenberg, uh, the Siena poll uh, at the Siena Research Institute, out on NY22. Scott, good morning. Good morning. It's great to be with you. So it shows, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, it shows that uh, that uh, Assemblywoman Tenney is up uh, about by about five points, um, uh, followed by uh, Myers and Babnick uh, in double digits as well. Uh, what's the takeaway on this poll? Well, what the takeaway is is that we have something very unusual. Uh, we rarely see a competitive three-way race in New York. Yeah. We've seen third-party candidates who take votes from either the D or the R. That's not what's going on here. We have, as you say, Teddy at 35%, Myers at 30%, Babinek at 24%. So he's only six behind Myers, 11 behind Teddy. And what's really fascinating about, the, uh, about Babinek is, 22% of Democrats are supporting him, 24% of Republicans, 25% of independents, 24% from the southern portion of the district, 23 from the middle portion of the district, 24 from the northern portion. His vote is coming from everywhere. Wow. That's very uh, – and, and it's interesting, too, as there is a, a bit of a veteran in the race, obviously, and Assemblywoman uh, uh, Tenney. What is that – What is that saying, and how strong is her support? And is there anything in the poll that talks about positives and negatives? Well, uh, first of all, we asked the favorability rating on each of these candidates. We asked voters, do you have a favorable or unfavorable view of Myers, Bobinick, Tenney? What we see is that Tenney is most known throughout the district. Eighty percent of voters have an opinion about her. But unfortunately for Tenney, the the a plurality have a, an unfavorable opinion of her. Right now, 34% of likely voters view Claudia Tenney favorably, but more than that, 46% view her unfavorably. Babinick and Myers are unknown to about two-fifths of the voters right. at this point in the district, yet both of them have positive, not strongly positive, but both of them have positive favorability ratings. Uh, what about the undecideds uh, in, uh, in this race? Well, right now we have about 11% of the voters who say they're undecided. Uh, I think it's important to note that this is a district that very much leans right. This is not a left-leaning district. This is clearly a right-leaning district. Uh, uh, We look at the presidential race, and Donald Trump right now has an 11-point lead, 46 to 35, over Hillary Clinton. When we ask voters, which party do you want to see control the House next year? 52% 52% say the Republicans, 37% say the Democrats. So this is a right-leaning district, and uh, Claudia Tenney should be out way ahead. But the fact is she's only up by five points, and it, is, it seems very likely at this point that, you know, the normal campaign math of you need 50% plus one vote to win, yeah. that's not going to apply here. And wow. It seems to me that we're likely to have a winner that gets maybe 40% of the vote. Wow. Uh, you know, the days of uh, Sherry Bollert, this uh, this was always a moderate district. But through redistricting, um, it's much more conservative than it used to be. Absolutely. Look, yeah. by a 12-point margin, voters want to see Obamacare repealed and gotten rid of. Uh, by a 2-to-1 margin, voters here think of themselves as gun Second Amendment supporters rather than gun control supporters. So this is a district that definitely tilts to the right on issues and ideology. But Kim, uh, but uh, Claudia Tenney has not yet been able to tap into that to open up a substantial lead. Very interesting. And uh, one quick question. I've got about a 45 seconds left. But um, Babnick, when people look at him, are they seeing Republican or a Democrat there? Or is it independent? Well, you know, as I say, I mean, this is a right-leaning district, but he's attack- He's uh, attracting voters from all parties. Yeah, interesting. Uh, you know, so his vote is coming from men and women from uh, upstate, up the, the northern portion of the district, the southern portion of the district, Democrats, Republicans, independents. He's attracting votes from all over the district. All right. Very interesting. Uh, Stephen, thanks so much for coming on. We, we appreciate it. This is uh, one that's a tough one to call. Yeah, no question. Man. Right. We'll be back. All right. We'll talk to you again soon. Awesome. Thanks so much. Uh, great that they're doing polling. It's a, it's a very accurate poll. It's a very credible poll, we'll say that. Yeah. Very interesting.